Hey everybody, I'm Matt Finish, and welcome back to Shining in the Darkness. Bef standing before me now is the Cave of Truth, and when we beat it, we came out and this wall exploded. So, we're gonna go ahead and go down this wall. Or, wall, we're gonna go down this hallway. Fight some new things. Killer gnomes. You know they're killer because they're blue. Da ba dee da die. murder these guys and get moving. Oh, hello. Like I say, if they keep doing that, the XP is going to be phenomenal. I used to hate these kind of enemies. Like, oh no, he's getting more help. It's like, yeah, but it's more XP. It's more money. It levels you faster. <laughs> Let's butcher these guys down. There we go. Should have called for help. Oh well. Let's see how much XP we got here. 108! We got 108 and 130 XP. That's crazy. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah. So, this stuff here is slime. And what the slime does is it eats away at your. MP gauge. So we're going to take this one trip and we're going to go through this. And we'll just show that there's the MP of the guys right now. Milo's at 78, Pyra's at 90. And let's go through and see how much we lose. We've already lost five. That's. Mm. That's okay. We're on the first level. We can easily get out. Not that big a deal. But the reason we want to go this way is because uh, there's loot. And I'm, I'm a loot fiend, so. Yeah, every little turn costs you an MP2. That's why if you notice, I only took four steps before, but I lost five. Ow. Not that bad, not that bad. We're doing pretty good. Smash them all. Okay. Like every little turn counts as a step, so it's just... Ah, it's so irritating. So we're losing a ton of magic coming down this way right now. Luckily for us, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, I'll just warp out, rest at the end, come back, we'll be fine. It is weird though, like looking at stuff like, what is it actually supposed to be? Is it supposed to be slime? Is it supposed to be like boogers? I mean, what is it? It's like radioactive sludge? All right, I'm going to do this one first. Oh, goody. Okay, so we got 64 MP and 76 MP. We lost 14. Lost 14 MP. That's that's a lot. All right, uh, you go here, you go here, you. We're going to start blowing through the magic here. You freeze them. Yay, murder. I don't need to be put to sleep and I don't need I don't need to be frozen. Dang it. <laughs> Although on the plus side it is kinda nice that these guys uh actually hurt. Like, I didn't realize how much overkill I did just trying to, like, be prepared for the for the dungeon ahead of me. So, I was, like, looking back at the video and I'm like, man, that's not really a life or death situation, is it? It's like a bunch of people just flailing at me. So, like that. Only one damage, or they miss. Eh. 
Yeah, you better run. Pumpkin head, you're cut you're next. Ooh. Pirate doesn't crit that often, so I like it when she does. There we go. I never understood the um, the algorithm that they use for encounter rates in old school RPGs. Again, I'm not really complaining. It's cool to fight the monsters. It's kind of like the bulk of what you're doing. But uh, sometimes you're just like, I want to get down this hallway, and every step I take, there's a fight. Yay! I worked so hard for those smelling salts. We got one more to go for. Let's go down here. We're going to get it. Uh, fastest way. It's this way. There's a big old maze in here, so. I'm trying to avoid it. See, their hit points, uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but their hit points range are varied every time they spawn, too, because the last time I cast a group freeze, uh, Pyra did 19 damage to a death guide and it died. But... Uh, sorry, gotta focus on that. Um, but th this time I just cast one 19 damage spell and it didn't phase the guy at all, so it's kind of cool. I don't know if any other YouTuber has that problem where like you're trying to get a point across, but then something in the game just happens to a point where you're just like, oh my gosh, I gotta stop and deal with this. Cause that's me right now. I'm dealing with it. I should have just had Pyro cast again, but whatever. Murder! Alright, what do we got here? A Morning Star, which I'm already using. Well, that was awesome, wasn't it? Complete waste of time. Actually, do I still have an angel feather? I might as well use that angel feather. I do. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm gonna heal up and I'll see you guys back at uh the spot. Okay folks, we're back. That was the hallway, so we're gonna go down here and move on. Doo -doo -doo. This one isn't too bad. Dead in there, oh, overshot. And I pay the price. Oh well. Maybe I should stop saying oh well because you know sometimes that happens. And and why? I'm just my my, my brain running. Why is the red slime the one that casts ice? Wouldn't it be like fire? I don't know. Anyhow. Oh, gosh, really? All right, time to get a little more uh, violent. I need these guys to die. Especially if they're going to keep calling for help. Look at that, explosions. I hope that records well. I don't know if anybody else, but like when I watch other uh, people play some old school games, and like the characters flashing, it's multiple colors to them. <laughs> to me, it's just an invisible spot on my screen. Like, oh, can you guys see this? No, no, I can't. So I hope you guys can see that. Anyhow, here we are. Cave of Courage. Looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? It's because it's uh same level as before. Just how they do it. No biggie. Uh, to do. Okay. Sorry, I'm cheating a bit. Because I want to make sure I'm doing everything right. So. I believe. This is a dead end, is it? Uh oh. 
Now, this is a cool color scheme. I'm glad they don't have that many hit points. But I haven't seen this guy before. That's, I, I don't remember him at all. So I, I like... I like being refreshed with things. Okay. There we are. Oh. Hi, everybody. I had to make my appearance today. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. He's so doopy looking. Okay, I think I know. Yep, okay. I don't know why I got turned around. I did. My bad. Alright. So this door I want to take because this is the door that's the loot door. And you know me, I just can't say no to the loot. Especially if it's got chest peaks because that means... Or, yeah, chest peaks because then we can kill them. Oh goody, a wisdom seed. For those of you following at home, I'm here. You can see where I am, clearly, can't you? Anyhow. Oh, sorry there. Bad cough. Glad you guys didn't have to hear it. <laughs> hey, Pyro went up a level. What we got? Anything cool? And... Slow level two. Actually, that's not bad. <gasps> Ooh. She got the lightning. All right. All right, so I'm going to move down here. This has been a be a pretty long hallway Oop. so I'm just gonna cut through it or speed through it and uh, you guys can watch me have fun aha All right, here we go yay 50 bucks I only have 4228 Oh, hello. Oh, I remember these guys. These guys, are, these guys do a ton of damage and take forever to die. Unless it's a later version of this guy, but... Take my lightning. Yeah, no, this dude's, this dude's legit. Okay. Uh, let's just keep attacking. Or not. I think it's the closest thing we've had to a boss in a while. If I do this, we're going to have to exit and come back. Which isn't a problem for you guys because I'm going to cut it all out. But here we go. Oh, clot hoppers. Isn't that the thing of nightmares? I mean, look at this guy. We got we to gotta kill these stingers first, but dude. Man, die. Come on, die. All right. All right. Here's your reprieve. <laughs> Do it again. Ooh, wild orcs. Let's butcher these guys.
So I'm going to look at speeding up the info. I'm just going to give you guys some behind the scenes uh, knowledge. But I'm going to look at speeding up these parts through the... the this. <laughs> and if it's... If the blurring is, like, too much, I won't do it. I'll just, like, skip this stuff. They don't, like, rapid fire hit you with that and you guys, like, you know, throw up. I'm not going to be responsible for you throwing up today. Sorry. Maybe another day. Maybe. But not today. Whew. These guys will always haunt my dreams. Always. Good news is we're out of the slime, so... I'll have enough magic to get me out once we're done here. Look at them, little egg weirdos. I'm just glad they didn't animate them further, because I'd hate to see a walk cycle for those guys. In first person, that'd be so creepy. Ugh. All right. So every... Oh, hello. Night Stalker. You weren't that impressive. So pretty much every spot down here has a treasure chest, so we're going to open them all up. Hey, an angel feather. Ooh! Grim Fowls. I like these guys. And I believe there's a, a later version called Axe Beak, if I remember right. Man, they hurt. Stop picking on me. All right, Milo, do your thing. Pyro, do your thing. Yeah, there we go. I feel better. Oh. Whew. Yay! <laughs> I feel better! All for a woven robe. Not really worth it. Come on. Don't they look like... Like something Santa Claus would have made and been like, Oh, I did a bad thing and then like hid them somewhere? Maybe that's what they are. They're Santa Claus rejects. Ooh, that's why they're evil. Oh. Ooh. Was that grossness? All right, we're not playing around with you guys either. I want everything to burn. Ah. Uh-oh. They have either strong magic resistance or strong fire resistance. Either way, I'm not happy. Uh oh. Whew. Yeah, that's what I need. I need a group of people who can paralyze me. Just as bad as a group of people who can sleep me. Yeah, it's sad that you can do more damage melee than them. But it's cool, because like you need enemies like that. Oh, he breathes fire! Ow! He breathes a lot of fire. We're gonna have problems. Oh, I picked the worst time to open a treasure chest, huh? Uh, heal yourself. And you slow to him. He's unaffected. I don't remember him doing that before. But that's okay. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments that I guess I goofed. It's okay. Fine. Take a bolt. 
to your face. Wow. Aha. Quit it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Somebody leveled up. No new spells. Okay. Well, good thing I got these herbs. I got a bunch of guys named Herb in my, my inventory. All right. They're going to keep me going a little longer. Another... Huh. <sighs> I'll be honest, I totally forgot what's in all these treasure chests, but I'm feeling like I got ripped off. We did all that for 150 bucks. Wow. Okay. I'm going to head back. And we still have other areas to go. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to... I'm doing a lot of thinking here. Give me one sec. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go here. And then we're gonna sell some stuff. I don't need that many norns. You've never seen anything like this before. I sold you one earlier. <laughs> Actually, do I have enough? Let's check. I am $300 away from getting the Thorn Whip. Oh, man. Wait, did I sell everything I was supposed to? Let me see. Oh, I got a sword. I got a robe somewhere, don't I? That's not 300 bucks, though. Let's see. I'll just keep you guys with me for this, and then we'll, we'll call it a day here. We're, uh... I'm trying to be a little tighter on time with stuff. Because you guys are busy. You don't have time to sit through all my videos. As long as they are. Ooh, 150. Yes. Like how he does that. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to buy. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're buying it. I don't care. Nope. Nope. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm gonna keep the staff on me just for now. In case this doesn't work out like I hope it will. Her damage goes up by six. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, it's gonna go up by six. And now she can attack groups. Boom! <laughs> I'm so excited. It's totally worth the money. It's totally worth it. And it's not like it's gonna be that hard for me to get money later. So let's rest up. Um, so, next episode, we got two other paths we can go down, so we're going to go down those. Um, yeah, this is, and it's going to be a fun time, because Pyra's not got that whip. I'm so excited. So excited. Yes! Uh, <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked today's episode. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, the bell icon will show you when your next, my newest videos come out. And, uh... If you got any tips or tricks, let me know. Any uh, any advice? If you guys want to hit me up on Twitter and Facebook, please feel free. And uh, if you feel like supporting the channel, you can also help out on Patreon. All right, guys. You guys have a fantastic day. Later. Later.